Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave, that way you'll never miss out on another video. Okay, so at least two Tuesdays out of the month, I like to do a Ganesha pick a card reading or like a collective reading. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am using my Ganesh deck. There's one card from the deck in each pile. But we also have some other clarification cards to get more detailed messages. So this reading is actually for the Venus retrograde that we're having. Venus is in retrograde and I wanted to get a few messages of what we should expect and how we should move forward with our energy and any messages that we needed to get for this Venus in retrograde that we're having up until June. Okay, so what I'm going to need you to do is pick a card group number, a pile, or a symbol that is on top of the card, which I will read out to you guys right now. So you're going to pick pile number one or the peacock feather, pile number two or the bay leaf, pile number three or the cinnamon stick, pile number four or the abalone shell, which these are available on my Etsy store if you guys are interested. But with that being said, let's go ahead and start the reading. For everyone that picked pile number one or the peacock feather, let's go ahead and see what Venus retrograde is bringing for you. So the first card that we have here is be candid. Then right next to it, we have sanctuary. Right under it, we have taking shelter. So the cards right next to this card is very symbolic and like very hard hitting where there's a strong message that you guys need to hear. So with Venus retrograde right now, it's very, very important for you to express yourself and to say what's on your mind and speak what's on your mind. Your voice right now carries a lot of weight and it's very important for you to say what's on your mind, say what you mean, say yes when you want to say yes and say no when you want to say no. Really bring your core self, your true authentic self out through your words and through your expression of yourself. So don't hold anything back, say what you feel, and don't sugarcoat things because it just doesn't help the situation. So the cards right next to this is Sanctuary and Taking Shelter. The answers are within. And then we also have Privacy, Respected Boundaries, and Taboos. So. Right now, with this Venus going backwards in retrograde, Venus is all about love and glamour and beauty and soft energy, beautiful, just, just very feminine love energy, right? So that planet is going backwards. What this means is that it's kind of going to allow you to see what's going on in these areas of your life. And I do feel like you guys, for pile number one, you have a hard time expressing yourself, saying what you truly feel. You, there's a lot of miscommunication that happens because of the way that you express yourself using your words. Whether you are too forward or too upfront and too aggressive, too defensive and too stubborn, or whether you're just too gentle, too soft and too kind where you don't even speak what you truly feel. There has to be a balance. There has to be a truthfulness. So I do feel like with this Venus retrograde, that's what a lot of you will be dealing with is your self-expression, the words you use and how you communicate. Now you're being asked to, and you probably will feel this desire to take some time to yourself. And the way that you're going to take time to yourself is by like taking baths, doing your own nails, like really pampering yourself, giving yourself a face mask, a hair mask, soaking your feet in water. Just It's just all this relaxation techniques. And I feel like that is how you're going to be working with your throat chakra. So you're going to be awakening your throat chakra by taking time to yourself, taking shelter. This is very similar to the hermit card in tarot. And the hermit card is when you go within and you see your own light and you shut out the influence and voices of the outside world. So I do feel like that's what's going on with this Venus retrograde for you guys, where you're shutting the world out, you're going within, and it's gonna allow you to be truthful when you speak. The next card we have here is Homeland, Arrival, A Journey Ends, Establishment, Building, and Settled. So, 
what you need to be talking about, I really see for you, group number one, the things that you need to express and talk about have a lot to do with your home life and your relationships and your sense of belonging and your sense of feeling settled. Like it could go two ways. Are you feeling like you're settling for something that you're not wanting? Or do you want to finally settle down, but you're not allowing yourself to speak that out loud? So it's two of these things that Venus retrograde is really going to bring forth, like bring it out so that you can express the truth of how you feel when it comes to your home. The next card we have is begin now, take your first step. So here, stop procrastinating venus retrograde is going to make you go for it whether it's love you want whether it's a career whether you want to beautify your skin whether you want to i don't know whatever it is you want to do um, that has a lot to do with um, luxury and beauty and romance you're just going to do it there's no more procrastination this venus retrograde is going to teach you how to stop procrastinating when it comes to love and finances and money and beauty and glamour and things like that so the next two cards that we have here is intuition and surrender defensiveness. Intuition is right next to the sanctuary card. So when you are taking that time to yourself, you're really, really going to be connecting with your intuition and it's going to make so many things clear for you. So this Venus retrograde is bringing a lot of mental clarity to you. And the card we have right next to is next to it is surrender defensiveness. And it's right under the homeland card. So anytime that your home life or your love life or, you know, um, anything that had to do with, yeah, your home or your love or your foundation, your house, your money, anytime those things were like mentioned by outside influence, you would get very defensive and triggered. So Venus retrograde is actually bringing an end to that and you're surrendering that defensiveness into this new level of being where you trust your intuition and you take the time out when you need to and you're not waiting and you're not afraid to talk about the things you need to talk about. Another thing with this card right here and this has to do with your beauty and your love life. So the way you perceive yourself and the way that your love life is. These two things, Venus retrograde is going to bring you out of your comfort zone when it comes to you and your beauty and you and your love life. You're really going to be coming out of your comfort zone. You're going to be leaving a very comfortable space to explore the new and the unknown and the fun and the exciting. And this is going to be a new journey for you where your throat chakra is fully awakened. So I hope you guys are ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to book a reading with me, you can book one on my Etsy shop and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Group number two or everybody that picked the bay leaf. Let's go ahead and see what comes up for you. The first thing that Venus, Venus, Venus retrograde is going to be bringing is prosperity energy. So you may notice yourself um, really seeing clearly what the block was between you and your finances and not only seeing it, but you also get a solution. You also find ways to eliminate this block. So I do see that it, it has a lot to do with your passion. So a passion of yours is going to ignite and awaken with this uh, Venus retrograde. So what this means is Venus is going backwards and Venus is the planet of love and luxury and beauty and allure and mystery and romance. So this is a lot of the energy that's coming into your life, but you're gonna be one of those people that is gonna turn this energy into a source of income and you're gonna prosper. And this energy is going to be coming into your life and you're going to be tapping into it and harnessing it in a very, very powerful way. The next card we have here is Sacrifice. This is an exciting reading. This is, this is really exciting energy that is coming off of this reading. So group number two, expect the Venus retrograde to bring you excitement. So when a planet is in retrograde, it's not always like people get afraid and people get like anxious or whatever. In my experience, when a planet goes retrograde, I don't know why it is, but I have the opposite effect of what it's supposed to be doing. So I don't know who that was. Somebody called me on my phone. But also, when something happens during my readings, um, everything is a sign. Everything is a symbol. Everything carries a message. So I always integrate it into my readings. So for a phone call, 
something came in right so something is coming in for you guys and it has to do with prosperity and sacrifice and prayer is right next to the prosperity card so venus retrograde is going to like it's it's gonna the way it's presenting itself to you in your life specifically is hey i see the sacrifices you've been making and i see what you've been praying for and i'm going to bring it to you in abundance I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to bring your passions to you in prosperous ways with this retrograde. Now, the next call, the next call. That's so interesting. I got a phone call and I said, call, like something is going to call to you with this period of Venus retrograde. Something's going to call to you. Something's going to come to you. Opportunity is going to come. You're no longer going to have to sacrifice your time, your energy on things, you know, it's just, it's a whole different kind of prosperous, abundant energy that is coming into your life. You're, you're going to be manifesting. Now, the next card we have here is Song of the Siren. This is the call. Again, the call. I did not even see that. I did not see that at all. Summoning voice and to acknowledge. So, okay, let me just take a look at these cards because they're coming together very, very nicely. Okay, so this Venus retrograde is taking you from one place to another. This is very similar to the Hermit card in Tarot where you see your own light. You're able to go within and not see dark everywhere. You're able to go within and you don't see the negative. You're able to go within and it, it's not stressful to go within anymore. So this Venus retrograde is allowing you to go within yourself and really just allow the, the energies to move forward. So this Venus type of energy in your life, the love, the glamour, the beauty, the luxury, the like good things, the material wealth, you know, all of these things, this energy in your life was stagnant and it was blocked. And you were sacrificing so much and praying for so much. Um, and so what I see is that the universe has heard your prayers and your, you know, has seen your sacrifices. And now you're going to be able to see your physical self and your physical reality prosper. Now, something that I do see changing in your life, five is the number of change in numerology, is your throat chakra. So you're going to be um, following a new path that is very abundant and um, you feel very prosperous and content and happy and beautiful in this new path. It's very important for you to uh, stop sacrificing the things that you were sacrificing. You're done with the sacrificing part of your life. And the bay leaf right under it is um, a, it's a, a message for you to protect uh, the things that you're sacrificing to protect it. So are you sacrificing your energy? You're being called to protect your energy. Venus is going to teach you how to protect your energy and find the beauty and the love for your own energy because it's very, very powerful. Um, and also you're going to learn how to summon and call upon your energy when you need it. Um, you're going to acknowledge your voice. Your throat chakra is going to be awakening. This is something that came up in group number one too. So I think this is a theme with this Venus. Venus. This is the second time I said Venus. Venus retrograde is throat chakra awakening. So you get to speak with seduction in your voice. You get to speak with um, the power of persuasion in your voice. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, sneezing. Sneezing is when we cleanse some, cleanse, like it's our body's way of pushing something out of our body that is irritating it, right? So, that's something that's happening with your throat chakra as you're pushing something out that was blocking your throat and blocking you from speaking the way you need to speak and affirming the things that you want to be affirming to call in the things you want to call in dance so you're going to feel more playful with this venus energy you're going to feel more childlike and flirty and you're going to be using your body to communicate you're going to be using your body to um, transmute energy it's a lot of like dancing, cooking, cleaning, movement of the body, take like, you know, um, yoga, um, gym, like whatever, I don't know, just movement of the body is going to be something that you're going to experience a lot during this retrograde. 
And then we have gates of triumph. So success expands in your life. So definitely there's abundance coming in. There's prosperous energy coming in. And I do see that there was a period of time where you were very cold. You were very dark. And there was this dark energy, this heavy, burdensome energy all around you. Now, Venus retrograde is going to make you see your own beauty. It's going to make you acknowledge your own beauty. It's going to make you step out of that dark space in your mind to this warm, beautiful Venus type energy where it's just warm and loving. And the best way I can describe it is warm and happy and joyous. So I hope that this reading gave you guys clarity and guidance and excited for this Vino, Venus, that's the third time I said Venus, Venus retrograde. And if you guys want to book a reading with me, you can do so on my Etsy shop and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. For everyone that picked pile number three or the cinnamon stick, this reading has a lot to do with attraction. So this is going to be a huge theme of this reading because you guys were so drawn to the cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick is a very fiery energy. It's, it's an uh, herb of attraction and love and just fiery energy. So let's start with your reading. What is Venus retrograde going to bring you? So the first card we have here is perseverance. Underneath perseverance, we have fogged in, go slow and take your time. And then the next card we have right there is wave of power. So there's something that you have been pushing through. Like you've been like exerting energy to push through it. And a message for you right now is this Venus retrograde is going to bring you the energy that is needed to push through it and gain power. So it's going to give you this boost so that you can really just push through whatever this is once and for all. So this energy of uh, perseverance is coming in very strong for you. And it's a very sharp and dominating energy where you will dominate this situation. You will come out, it will be in your favor. Um, a surge of power is coming in. It's an upswing in energy and it's exhilarating movement. So something that you were working on where you felt really, really stuck and like you were not moving forward and it, like no matter how much work you were putting into this no matter how hard you were trying it just was not moving it just stayed stagnant i do see that you were um just trying really hard without seeing the results and this venus retrograde is bringing the results and it's bringing it strong so another thing i see is there was a period of you feeling like you were fogged in like you did not know where you were going like you were moving the opposite direction of your goal now a message that venus retrograde is bringing for you is you are actually you are actually moving away from your goal. You're moving, whatever you're moving towards is something that you're very, very attracted to. But you're almost like afraid to move towards that which you are attracted to. So I do see that a lot of the work that you put in was something that doesn't really excite you anymore. Um, but you're going to achieve it. You, you already put in the work and you're going to achieve it. You persevered and like you have the power. It, it's in your grasp. It's in your hands. You're going to get it. it it's yours. You worked for it and, and Venus sees it. The universe sees it. The divine sees your work that you put in and you're going to get it. But I don't think you, you want it anymore. You're going to get it. You know, you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor and stuff. But I do see that you're going to be walking away, walking towards something that is really, really calling to you. Really, you feel really drawn to it and connected to it and attracted to it. So the universe is kind of saying this Venus retrograde is going to tell you like, hey, it's totally fine for you to move in that direction of what is exciting you, but go slow. Take your time, enjoy the fruits of your labor, 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 enjoy the fruits of your labor, enjoy what you have achieved, enjoy what you pushed so hard, enjoy your reward, enjoy what you pushed so hard for, and enjoy the power that you have right now. You know, it's exhilarating, 
and Venus wants you to indulge yourself in it. Now, the next three cards we have here is Hydrate, Surrender Stress, and Rejuvenating Rain. So with all of this energy that happens, um, with Venus Retrograde, you are being called to hydrate. So drink a lot of water, make sure that you're getting your fluids, and also um, be aware of what kind of fluid you're putting into your body. So you're drinking a lot of soda, a lot of tea, a lot of energy drinks, a lot of coffee. What is it? Um, that you are putting into your body when it comes to liquid. Now for me, um, everything I drink, I'm very mindful of what I drink. So if I'm, say for example, drinking coffee, I put an intention into my coffee because I know coffee carries an energy of waking up, feeling rejuvenated and alive and energy, right? So I will kind of take my hand and I will go over my coffee three or four times or even while I'm stirring my coffee and I'll put my intention into my coffee because liquid, especially water, can absorb energy. So you, you want to put your energy into what you're drinking. I do that with my coffee, my tea, and I don't really drink a lot of soda, but the juices that I drink, I look at the ingredients that are in the juices and say if like there's mango in the juice, right? So mango is an energy of love and romance and sweetness. So I'll have a glass of mango juice with me and my boyfriend to enhance like the romance and that energy in the relationship. So be mindful of the liquids that you're drinking and the ingredients that you're drinking and what you're putting into your body because it is affecting your body and the energy that you are emitting. Surrender stress. Now for me, um, I know for me, pineapple juice and orange juice are like, if they're natural ingredients, then pineapples and oranges really help you um, with stress. So I like to drink pineapple and orange juice for stress. Um, so yeah, maybe you're being called to look at the fluids that you're take, intaking into your body and how they're contributing to your stress or how they're helping you eliminate stress. Um, and I also see that the stress that you were having with pushing through this goal or whatever this was, that's coming to an end because you're going to achieve it, whatever that was. And then we have rejuvenating rain. So clear the past and heal the present. Now, you are about to embark on a journey where you follow your passion. You're about to step into a life where it's going to be consumed by what you love and you're going to prosper in it. You're going to be very powerful in that area of your life. But you're being called right now to do a cleansing and to clear away the past. Stop bringing the past into your future and into your present moment and heal what you need to heal and forgive what you need to forgive because you're about to attract the life of your dreams and you don't need to be taking these low vibrational feelings and emotions and memories with you. So deal with what you need to be dealing with. And I do feel like Venus retrograde is gonna make you deal with these things because the way that you're moving forward, it's all about attracting everything that you desire and you can't be holding onto the past. So yeah, that was your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and gave you clarity. If you want to book a reading with me, you can head over to my Etsy shop and I have a few different options and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. For everybody that picked pile number four or the abalone shell, your reading is actually very magical. The messages are very strong, they're very clear, and they're very, very loud. So let's start. First card we have here is decisions. So there's a decision that needs to be made in your life and this Venus retrograde is going to make you make the decision. And this choice that you're going to be making is something that is going to transform your life very, very big, very, very strong. And it's gonna allow you to move forward and to emerge and rise up. Whatever you choose is going to make you raise your vibration. Now, you're probably like, I, I'm still trying to decide what I want. I'm still trying to weigh my options. I'm still trying to see which is the correct decision for me. And the next two cards are actually the answer that of what you are seeking. So pay attention to your dreams. So I feel like your subconscious is really trying to tell you the answer and tell you which path or which decision you need to be making. And you are having a hard time trusting in your own dreams, trusting in your own voice. I feel like you have a lot of outside voices and a lot of outside influence inside of your mind, and it's making you 
nervous and anxious to make the final choice, final decision. This could be with anything, your lifestyle, your habits, um, your career, um, moving, um, relationship and opportunity, whatever it is, there's a very big decision that needs to be made and you are being called to pay attention to your dreams because you're receiving messages in your dreams. There's prophecy and um, there's so much like wisdom and knowledge that is leading you towards fortune, towards your fate and towards your destiny, but you are blocking it out. You guys are so drawn to the abalone shell. Abalone shell energy is about our dreams. It's about ethereal energy. It's about the energy of the ocean, which the ocean is all about emotions and being free and abundant and free flowing, you know, natural. So um, these messages are trying to come in naturally to you from you through your dreams. Um, so what I do, what I've been actually doing a lot lately is I keep a journal right next to my bed. Um, this actually, you're kind of like manipulating your subconscious mind into giving you more messages through your dreams by just keeping a dream journal next to your bed. So you want to talk to your subconscious mind in little manipulative ways like that. And that's how I think of it. So that's what I do. And I write down every morning, any dream that I have, the numbers in the dream, the colors, the elements, the words, whatever is in that dream, I'll write it down and then I'll Google it. And then I'll piece it together. And the amount of intuitive clarity that I've gotten from doing this, it's insane. Like how I would classify it is like thousands of dollars worth of therapy that just comes to you through your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. And this Venus retrograde is going to bring you a ton of messages through your dreams. So I highly suggest you get a dream journal, okay? And, and write down all your dreams, study your dreams, observe them, explore them, let yourself experience them. Use crystals near your bed, under your pillow, use herbs, use I like to sleep with mugwort and lavender under, underneath my pillow. If you guys are interested in mugwort and lavender, I do have it up in my shop. I have mugwort. Um, and if you guys want me to make little dream pillows or like little dream packets, um, let me know. Cause I think that's something I want to make next. And I put, I'll put some amethyst crystals in there as well. Moonstone crystals. If you guys want, let me know. Um, okay. The next thing we have here is take a walk and navigating by the stars. So you're being asked to take a walk, which means use your feet to connect to the earth. You have to ground yourself. Venus retrograde is bringing a lot of energy when it comes to your third eye and your crown chakra. So a lot of energy in your mind, a lot of energy in your third eye. You have to balance that energy and ground that energy. And that's why you're being called to take a walk during this Venus retrograde that we're having, make sure that you connect your feet to the earth. So go out in nature, in your backyard, we are under quarantine, go in your backyard, go in your front yard, do some gardening, you know, connect to our physical reality because we're having a lot of energy coming to us that is going to be coming in our head and our third eye. Now, this energy that is coming that you need to be grounding and also like really exploring is going to make you make the decision where you're making your own decision and you're following your own bliss. This card actually, I have a really cute story. Um, I have a tattoo on my foot that is by a poet named, named Rumi. And the poem is translated into English and that's what I have on my foot. And it says, respond to every call that excites your spirit. So I put that on my foot. I had that tattooed on my foot because I wanted that engraved into my being. I wanted that idea and that energy of that line to like become infested into my DNA. <laughs> Is that creepy? But I did. I really wanted that to become a part of myself. And so I feel like every time I see this, because um, the poet, he kind of remind he reminds me of that poet. So this card is symbolizing you responding to a call that is summoning you, that is calling to you and you have to make a decision and you have to follow it and you have to choose um, and you have to um, 
like wake yourself up to the messages and clarity that your own subconscious mind is bringing to you listen to it listen to your intuition listen to your heart listen to the voice in your head um because it's taking you it's taking you to somewhere where you're going to be surrendering yourself to wonder and awe it's taking you to a place where you're going to emerge into a new vibration you're going to become very very psychic you have a lot of psychic abilities that you are blocking off too venus retrograde is going to bring it out it's bringing that out venus retrograde is going to make you choose something venus retrograde is going to make you follow your own decision and follow your own intuition it's going to also open you up to a life filled with wonder and amazement and fun and love and just it's opening you up to the life that you were supposed to be living where you're very psychic um, and you follow your own path and you're very in tune and in touch with yourself and your intuition and with the earth. It's a very beautiful path that you're about to walk on. And Venus retrograde is kind of pushing you into that direction. So if you guys are interested in abalone shells, go ahead and visit my Etsy shop. You can get it there. And if you guys want to book a reading with me, you can book it on my Etsy shop as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you really, really soon.